What is up guys, TSL here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how you can make your very own band command slash band system. So to start off, insert a new script into server script service and do the following. Local DS is equal to game colon get service data store service colon get data store and we'll do band data and we'll do local players is equal to game colon get service players alright so these are our two services we're going to be using so to start off we'll do players dot player added colon connect function and we'll take the player next thing we want to do is just start saving stuff so we want our player key so plr underscore key is equal to id underscore concatenate player player dot user id we'll do local success comma res is equal to p call function return um, ds colon get async plr key so then we'll do if success if res then what we're going to want to do is player colon kick you are banned from this game alright so this is just a p call function trying to get the data f um, from the data store then we just check if, if this stuff is not new and if if it is not then we want to just kick the player from the game and tell them that they are banned all right so so the next thing we're going to want to do is just um whoops the next thing we want to do is make an else statement and we'll do ds colon set data and we'll set the false or plr key comma false alright and that should be that so the next thing we're going to want to do is just check if the player is an admin so if player dot user id is equal to one of your admin's user IDs. so just me in this game so let me just type in mine and then then what we want to do is set up a player dot chatted function so colon connect function message and we'll do we'll do if message colon match slash ban then we'll do do local play plr to ban name is equal to um is equal to message colon split at the space in our second index we'll do um, local plr to ban is equal to game dot or it's not game we'll do players players colon find first child plr to ban name we'll do if plr to ban then what we want to do is kick or plr to ban colon kick you have been banned from this game and then we'll do else and we'll warn that the player the player um dot dot plr to ban name does not exist all right so um I'm pretty sure that should be everything. 
yeah that should be that should be it so now to actually test this you would first of all need to publish the game to roblox we'll do ban system tutorial tutorial and that's it just click create um and then we're gonna wanna set the permissions or not permissions go to the security and enable this so that we can use data stores and studios and let's try this out do slash kick or not kick ban all right so it didn't work um and we don't have anything in the output Um, whoops, whatever, it'll work. Set data, data store dot ban data. Oh, I don't know why I did that. It should be set async. Async. Um, and then here we have to do ds colon set async uh, plr key comma true. All right, um, so let's try that now. All right, it kicks us. It says you, you have been banned from the game. If I try to rejoin, and it says I've been banned from the game. All right, guys, well, that was how you can make your very own ban system, such ban command. Um, very simple, actually doesn't take that much time but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did remember to smash that like button and smash that subscribe button um also guys comment below what you want me to do for next video see you in the next one guys bye